Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to remove stuck or seized lug nuts on your vehicle. Let's go ahead and get started. Now these can be caused for many reasons. Sometimes if you take it to a tire shop or a mechanic or something to do your tire, if you're getting a tire replaced, they can put the lug nuts on too tight. If they're using uh, an impact wrench and they torque it too tight, that can be problematic. And then when it's time for you to take it off, if you're trying to change a tire or rotate them, whatever you're doing, it's hard to get it off using just the regular tire iron or the lug nut wrench that comes with the vehicle. In the case of this particular vehicle, it was put on by a tire shop, probably put them on too tight, but to make matters worse, this vehicle sits a lot. So it's been sitting for, I don't know, I want to say maybe four or five years with very minimal usage on it. It was pretty much just driven here locally a few times throughout the year. It was taken for the inspection, things like that. But it's in the garage a lot, but it's also out in the elements a lot. So between snow and rain and just different things being out there, these things have gotten seized on there. Can't get them off. I'm going to show you what we're using to try to get them off, and then I'll show you what will work to get them off if you're in this position. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to show you what to start with, and then we'll get these things off. To start with, we have just the typical lug nut uh, wrench or tire iron, whatever you want to call it, that comes with the vehicle. These things are made to fit right on there. You get a good grip on it. However, and I'm going to show you, trying to get these things off, you can pull this thing all you want, and you can see it's even moving the car. This thing is really tight on there. It is not going to budge. Some people will say, well, you know, put it on here and you can jump up and down on it. I don't recommend that because you can break the, the wheel studs doing that. I've done that in the past. I've seen other people do it in the past. So it's up to you if you want to try that, but you're taking a gamble here with causing more damage. It will give you more leverage, but in the case of this one here, even if you were to do that, these things are seized on there. So I'm going to get a close-up so you can see how it looks in there. We're going to saturate it with some, some penetrating oil. I've already put penetrating oil already on these a couple days ago. A few times, let it sink in. If it's really bad, you want to let it sink in at least for 24 hours. Really try to get into the threads and into the nut. But I'm just going to show you the application here, what I did a couple days ago, and then we'll continue on. If you look all the way in, let me turn the light on, where it goes all the way in, you can see these lug nuts are really locked and kind of almost into the groove there, really tight, which is the problem that we're having now that they're seized. So I'm going to take this penetrating oil right here, and we're going to spray it all inside. And let it really sink in real good. And like I said, you really want to let it sit up at least 24 hours to really sink in. But let's go ahead and put it in here. Go all the way down in there. Let it get. So I'm going to do all of these and then we'll be back. Everything's been done. We're letting it sink in. And once it works its way in, we'll move on to the next tool that we're going to use to try to get these off. Now that <clears throat> we're going to be dealing now with impact wrenches, breaker bars, you want to be careful. You want to use eye protection because things can break. So it's very important you protect your eyes. So we're going to put these on. And um, <clears throat> next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the right size socket to go on here. Now you want to make sure it's a snug fit. You don't want something just close. You want the exact fit so you get a really good grip on that lug nut. So let's get the socket on here and we're going to put it on an impact wrench, a pneumatic impact wrench, and see if that doesn't get these things loosened off. Now it's important if you're going to be using an impact wrench that you use the proper sockets that are rated as impact sockets as opposed to just a regular socket. The impact sockets are made out of a material known as chrome, and I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correct, correctly, but molybdenum steel as opposed to the regular type sockets, which are made out of chrome, vanadium, steel. So you want to make sure that you're using the impact rated sockets, not regular, because those can break and cause injury. Also for any adapters, you don't want just the regular chrome ones, you want the impact rated ones. That way they can handle the impact wrench. It's also important that you get the exact size socket for that lug nut. You don't want to put something that's close enough, but has a little bit of give, because what'll happen if you're using an impact wrench, or, or even a breaker bar, you could strip the actual pattern on the lug nut and then you got a real problem on your hands. So you want to make sure you get the exact size. You've got a nice snug locking fit over that. 
What I have here is a pneumatic impact wrench. Now this is a pretty strong one. It has 1,200 foot-pounds of torque. So we're going to see if that can break it loose. A lot of times this will break any of those. If it doesn't work, then we're going to have to move on to a breaker bar. But let's go ahead and give it a shot. It's not budging it at all, um, as we saw in the close-up. It's not moving it at all, which, like I said, this is 1,200 foot-pounds of torque, this particular impact wrench, and it's, I mean, it's got a lot of power. It'll take lug nuts off with no problem, but these are definitely seized on here. Let's get the breaker bar out, see if we can break it off with the breaker bar. I have my 25-inch breaker bar. We put the impact socket on here. Let's get, a, get a good grip on this. We're going to give this thing a nice pull. <clears throat> there we go. Urgh. Broke it loose. Whew. That was a chore in itself. Now we can just take it off with this. this off. I don't know if you could hear it crackling, but this thing was really seized on there bad. And I was, I'm not a big guy, but I was putting all my body weight and force on the yanking on this thing. You want to make sure that you do engage your emergency brake. Um, engage your emergency brake. That way you lock the wheels because what will happen if not is you're moving the car with it and you're not getting the full leverage on it. suckers were really seized on there because <sighs> I'm putting all my body weight into this thing and we're finally breaking them loose I mean you saw it 1200 torque impact wrench couldn't even budget <sighs> now if you're having no luck with the breaker bar you can also take a steel pipe add it to the end of the breaker bar to give you more leverage because the more leverage you give the more torque you increase this is a 24 inch piece of steel pipe i was going to use it if i needed to didn't need to but you can put this on the edge like this put it over the breaker bar to give you more leverage sometimes you can even double or triple your torque by adding a piece of you want to make sure it's steel not aluminum you don't want anything that can bend but nice this is galvanized steel to get that leverage didn't need it so we're able to do it with just a breaker bar, but that wraps up this video on how to remove stuck or seized lug nuts on your car tires. So as we saw, we started first by lubricating it with some penetrating oil, let it really sink in. Use the impact wrench first. If you don't have an impact wrench, you can go right to the breaker bar. But if you do have one, like I said, this one has pretty good torque on it, but didn't even budget, needed a breaker bar recommend getting a 25 inch or longer breaker bar that way you you get that leverage make sure that you're using impact sockets with the impact wrench make sure it's a good fit on there and you should be able to get it off might take a little bit of work to do it but you'll get them off so i hope this video was informative for you i hope it helped you out with any issues you're having with your tires and lug nuts and trying to get the wheels off please send me any questions or comments i would love to hear from you and as always i appreciate all the support please like the video and subscribe to the channel I'll see you next time.